Okay, so today we're going to be looking at how to use Google Drawings. Specifically, how to use Google Drawings to create a prototype for our inventions in our invention unit. So first I'm starting here at google.com. As you can see, I am not signed in. So I'm going to sign in. One moment, please. Now that I am signed in, we are ready to go. As you can see, my screen has changed. Now I have the option of mail, search for images, waffle, alerts, and my avatar is displayed. So to get started, let's just go to our Omnibox right here and type in Google Drawings. first thing we do is to name our drawing. It's very important that we remember to give our drawing a name so that when we're searching for it later in our drive, it will be easy to find. So I'm just going to call it INVENTION in all caps. Okay. This work area can actually be exported into a PNG document, a PDF document, JPEG, you name it. This is very um, adaptable right here. So by default we have a transparent background. Also if you notice to show you that I clicked on the little magnifying glass tool right here to zoom in. I just right clicked, zoom out, left click. Whee! All right, let's get started. So let's get rid of that. So your toolbar is here. So as you can see to use the tool that I just used, I just clicked on it, and if you hover over each tool, it tells you what it is. So this is zoom, select, that's my cursor, my little arrow. Um, let's see what else, lines, we have a line, arrow, curve. Here we have the auto shapes. This is really where we want to get started while we're drawing something. This will save you a lot of time. For example, when I use my pixel art, I generally like to start with a square. I hold down shift to make a perfect square. I fill the color using the paint bucket tool right here. If you want to change the outline color of your shape, you can do that right here with the line. So if you look really closely, you can see that it is a black box with a yellow outline. But let's say, for example, I want to draw a robot. So maybe I want to start with a 3D shape. Maybe this is his head. Just clicked on that cylinder. Let's make him gray. Okay, now let's give him a body. Let's choose another auto shape. You have a variety of many different auto shapes. You can even give him a smiley face. Yay. Let's make it bigger. We can make it gray so it blends in with the layer we just made. We can change the color again. You can even choose from solid colors or gradient colors. Isn't that neat? Make him red. Okay, made him orange. Okay, now let's give him a body. Let's look for more 3D shapes. Let's do a cube. But here's what happens. Every time you add a new shape or item to your document, it's going to appear as a layer on top of the previous layer. In order to organize this so that this layer goes behind the other layers I added previously, I just click Arrange, Order, Send Backward, or Send to Back. In this case, I want to say Send to Back. I also use the arrow keys on my keyboard to move my shapes more precisely. Let's just give that a little tweak right there. Uh, let's give him arms. Let's go back to the auto shapes. Now we see you have shapes, arrows, callouts, and equations. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's give him some arms. Maybe let's try another kind of cylinder here. There we go. Right there. Now if I want to, that looks a little disproportionate. Let's make it a little smaller. We can even turn it like this. There we go. Now if I want to create a symmetrical arm on the other side, what I want to do is click on this one, use the keyboard shortcut Control-C to copy, 
Next, you use the keyboard shortcut Control V to paste. We have an identical arm, but it's facing the right, the, the exact same way as the other one because you know we copied the exact same thing. In order to rotate that horizontally, we go back to Arrange, select Rotate, flip horizontally, and that will give us a mirror image of what we just copied. Now to um, place it behind the cube layer. We'll go back to Arrange again, Order, Send to Back, then we can use our arrow keys to change where it... Let's go back to this shape. Now let's say you find a shape and it's not facing the correct way. You just rotate it with this little tool right here. Send it to the back. Copy, paste to make a symmetrical copy. Now I want to send it to the back again. Move it up a little bit. And now we have a robot. 